name is Miko and welcome to Eric Speak. I'm one of the readers on the channel. So this is a new thing I'm doing. It's just a monthlies for each of the zodiacs. Um, I'll still be posting the dailies next week. That's not gonna stop. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. Um, these are general, may or may not resonate. I hope it does. And yeah, let's just see what we can get for the Leos today. Okay. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> I'll explain why it's so funny in a sec. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. It, this card fell face down, so let's see. Oh my god, Leo, what is going on? Panther and Lamb. So, <laughs> is someone, I need to pull one more card because I almost feel like someone's attacking someone you love. Um, if it's not that, it's like, This is the strangest, this is so cryptic. This might be for a very select few people, but it's like, um, so lamb and gazelle, this is one person. Um, very unexpected. This person doesn't, you know, they may be younger than you or just carry like young energy, um, but they don't see what's about to come in, if that makes sense. Um, someone's been watching the lamb, whoever that is. Um, and then we have panther. And if you can see the green in the eyes of the panther, I almost see it being reflected around the lamb. So whoever the lamb is to you, um, it could even very well be you. It's just innocent, not doing anything wrong, doing its own thing, and something's coming for it. Something's like, almost like about to attack it or something like that. And with the gazelle card coming out with the lamb, I do think it's like, you know, with this, I get the setting sun a lot of the time, right? The sun set in the background. But in this case, I am more so being picked up on the fact that gazelles can kinda be too relaxed sometimes, if that makes sense. Um, too relaxed in the sense of like uh they might not see the predator approaching from the grass behind them because they're so enjoying the sunset right this person might just be so oh god it's such a i don't even know how to describe their energy it's so in the moment but it's also very it's not that they're just in the moment either you know they can they're a person who's like past present future whatever but they're not aware of how other people see them, if that makes sense. Or they're not aware of, you know, I am just getting charisma, right? Or if it's not charisma, it's, um, it's one of those people that they're very attractive in all senses almost, but they don't realize how attractive they are if that makes sense. So there's this person, they don't realize how attractive they are. They don't really realize what attention, it's more that they don't realize that they attract attention or like the type of attraction or the type of attention they attract, the type of people that are like watching them. Um, you know, they're almost very unaware of these predators, if that makes sense. And you're coming across, it's weird, we have no cards on you. I kind of have a feeling of the energy that's gonna come out for you. Um, dolphin like so leo this is the weirdest reading ever um beaver and dolphin just ah oh, like you see this person as everything i want to clarify that like you see this lamb person as just like it, you know what I mean? And you, beaver, dolphin, this is someone that, this card,
hard talks but like long term you know what i mean like a lot of commitment a lot of hard work but like once again so weird all the readings have kind of been talking about the same thing it's been like bleeding into one another um and it's like long term consistency versus short term gain you know and this is the kind of person that like you can see that in you know what i mean you can see yourself building a future with them you can see yourself really you know being with them forever or like you want them as a friend you want them as your side like so bubbly so fun so loving your high vibe like it's just a match you know it's a match it's good it's a match and yeah like you just you're so happy when you're with this person like everything is like woo wee and now all of a sudden there's this predator in the grass and you're like where did you come from and it's weird because you this is just what's throwing me off. There's no protection energy in here. Um, dolphin and beaver, like, yes, those are very sweet cards. They are very nice, but there's no protection. Like, there's not a protective instinct coming out, which is kind of throwing me off Leo because I almost feel like most Leos, when they hear the, pe the person they're in love with or, like, have this kind of love for, have a lot of feelings for, um, with this person, I do sense like you do want to protect them, right? Like they're one of those people that like people want to protect like lamb, like, you know, like people want to protect this person. And it's so weird that your energy is almost like matching theirs. If that makes sense, uh, you're sort of just as oblivious to this competition as well until it comes in. And it looks like it's coming in very quickly, Leo. This might shake you up a little. Um, yeah, there is this competition, but I don't want you to get too worried about it because the competition isn't focused on you. It's focused on your lamb. And that's actually beneficial because then they won't see you coming. Sweaty. And this could be, you know, a job opportunity, right? And you sort of just think it's in the bag and in reality, like there's some competition stirring. Um, I've never pulled more cards for a reading, but I want another card on the Panthers energy. Um, that's too many. I just want one. Interesting. Elephant. The second time elephants come up. Um, the remover of obstacles, but also puts obstacles in our way. So... I almost think this panther was put in the way for a reason, Leo. This panther was put there to sort of, how do I say this? Get you to get your shit together. Can I say that? I just did. It's, it's like this added pressure has been put on the situation because it wants you to step up your game. It wants you to, it's weird, it wants you to flip into your masculine side. It's almost like you've been in your feminine side. As I said, you've been matching this person and there's nothing wrong with that, that's great. But the situation is calling for you to step up, right? And you're a Leo, so royal, regal. Leos have no problem stepping up their SHIT. Um, something just has to kind of get put in the way for them to do it, you know, um, and I love do not get me started on Leos. I love Leos. I just have this weird obsession with Leos. I just love you guys so much. I don't know why. You're my opposite, but like, I love you guys so freaking much. Anyway, and I think that with Leos is you guys can be a little lazy. Like, I'm an Aquarius, like I get it, me too. And it's almost like unless something gets put in the way that the Leo has to make a change and it like has to be addressed, you guys can be really bad at like prolonging things where you're like, I'm just not going to make a move unless I have to. And the universe is like, okay, sweetie, you want to play that game? Like we'll force you to make a decision. So it kind of seems like that, like this panther energy, this sort of whatever's coming after your lamb gazelle thing, person, whatever, it's been put in its place, you know, it's, or it's been put in your path almost. Um, and it has been put in its place. I will say that, or you're about to put this person thing or whatever in its place. Um, it's come out to sort of stir the pot. You know, sometimes we need stuff to get going. We need that push.
push sometimes, that, you know, impending threat. You know, it's like you're sick. If you don't eat healthy, you're not gonna get better and you could die. How's that? That's like one example, right? Like having that impending sort of pressure, it, it can help us push us into our best potential, push us out of our comfort zone, into potential, into our greatest selves. So I think that's why this panther energy is coming up. Now I wanna get another card on your energy and sort of where your energy is heading if this is how you are. Um, I want one card. Not, it keeps coming up with two. Camel, interesting, interesting. Um, Leo, I have to be honest with you. It feels like you've pushed this thing to its edge. Like, the one thing with the camel card is, yes, camels can go across the desert with like only the water on their back, but eventually that water runs out. And that's what this card talks about. It does talk about like, when it's in its lower form, lower vibration, like there's no more gas in the tank. You run it dry. Like, and you don't want to, you don't want to do that. And it's fire. So your own fire has even been like run dry. Um, and it could be from, I don't know, Leo, it's not giving me a straight answer. It's just saying you, you know, really run something dry. Um, this is a card with fire, but I am almost getting like, <sighs> sorry, it's, it's almost like being given, like you have a year to fill out these forms and it's the day before they're due and now you're filling them out, right? Like, I think the universe almost wants you to take a little responsibility is what I'm hearing, where it's like, they need you to acknowledge like, yes, I could have done this a long time ago. I realize that, but at least I'm doing it now is what I'm feeling. At least I'm doing it now, you know? Yes, to be fair, this has been, you know, in your grasp for some time. Like you could have easily like been protecting this, been sort of guarding this, been more aware of it or whatever this is. Like it seems like your attention should have been here and it was elsewhere is what it feels like. Or if your attention was here, you weren't doing anything about it. Um, dolphin and beaver also, something I didn't mention, they're both in the water element, you know? If this is a person, you could have just been feeling them, but not doing anything. It's that whole like admiring someone from a distance, you know? Um, but now it's like, hey, competition's here. Other people want this job, this person, this opportunity, like whatever this is for you, it's like on delay, like now is the time and you're gonna miss your opportunity if you don't dive in. And of course, there's gonna be a lot of other opportunities that come up, that's life, you know? It wouldn't be life if the only opportunity that came up was like once and that's it. No, like you're gonna always have opportunities presenting themselves to you. It's just if you wanna go for it or not. And that's a question that only you can answer. Only you can really answer if you wanna go for this person, place, thing, whatever this is to you, um, or not. You know, nothing is going to, at the end of the day, nothing is gonna make you do something unless you decide to. And with the camel card coming out, like you need to make a decision um, is what I'm hearing. There can't be any more, I'm just getting like lazy, I'm sorry. Like it just seems like you've been very, um, if it hasn't been physically lazy, it's just been like lazy in the sense of procrastination. It's like, oh, like why do it today? I could do it tomorrow. Like time will never run out, but like time is a gift. And if you don't use that gift appropriately, you will either run out of the gift or you won't have it anymore. And yeah, I have to be honest, like, this lamb gazelle person, like, are they in danger a little bit? Like, at the end of the day, someone else is responsible for their own life, you know? This person, it's not up to you to protect them at the end of the day. They can protect themselves, but they are the kind of person that is at risk, you know, of bumping into a panther-like person, you know? Like, 
someone who just wants to take, 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 that's very like aggressive, which does not nurture this kind of energy. And I think you know that, Leo, like, I don't know, it's, it's very interesting, like, yeah, it seems like you just haven't been doing what you're supposed to be doing. Um, and I, I suppose to use a little bit of a strong word. You haven't been doing what, well, how do I say this? If you want a good looking body, right? Like, or in your, whatever your definition of good looking is, let's say it's Victoria's Secret model. Let's just go with what the media presents. Let's say that's like the body you're going for. You're not gonna achieve that by eating pizza and sitting at home, right? Same thing goes for a lot of other things in our life. If we want that career, we're not gonna get it by not doing work, by not putting ourselves out there. Like, another romance, another one. We're not gonna get the boyfriend, girlfriend, relationship, whatever, if we're not putting ourselves out there, if we're not being vulnerable, if we're not going after that person, you know, talking to them, like, you can't just expect everything to fall in your lap, you know? There has to be 50-50. Trusting the universe and going with what you want, but also releasing control where you have none, you know? Uh, that's a huge thing for Leos. Leos are some of the most self-destructive people I've ever met. I love you guys. Once again, I love you. I love Leos so much. You guys are like my favorite sign. But self-destruction is a common trait in almost all Leos. And I think it comes down to the control part where Leos love to control at the end of the day. And the, when they can't control something, it's almost like, let me destroy everything because if I have no control over it, what's the point anyway? <laughs> you know, um, Leos can become very self-destructive. Um, self-destructive and other destructive. Um, more so self because leo is the sign of the self but it's opposite is aquarius so it does have that ability to become like collective destructive um so i think what it's just saying to you leo is you kind of need to buckle down is what i'm feeling this month might not be the easiest for you but it seems like you really need to ground yourself get seated get rooted um and really start going for things that you want. You really need to start um, believing in yourself, but also believing that the universe will guide you to where you're supposed to be. Um, trust, trust is huge in this reading. Um, trust, long-term commitment. Loyalty too, I wanna say, you know? Um, I do feel like you're very loyal to this person, but like it's not translating in the reading, if that makes sense. Like I can feel the loyalty, I can see. <sighs> Leo, this is so strange. I can feel the loyalty. Um, it's just, I can't see it, if that makes sense. Like the actions aren't lining up with the words almost. Um, which is weird because Leos are usually very integral. Your words almost always match your actions. Um, people's words always do kind of, you know, or like, you know what I mean, right? Integrity, words matching actions. Leos have a lot of integrity. So to see Leos words not match up with their actions is a little strange for me. Um, so I think this is the month where you guys really buckle down on yourselves. This is a very, you know, you're going after what you want now. You're going after, yeah, you're going after what you want, but you're, you're finally believing you deserve it and you can get it, if that makes sense. You're finally like, yes, I can achieve this. I will achieve this. I am achieving this, um, is very much so what it feels like. And at the end of the day, this competition is only there to help you. It's not there to hurt you. It's not there to take what's yours. It's here to help you grow. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really good month and I'll see you guys in the weeklies for, or the dailies for next week. Anyway, thank you so much and see ya.